everyone, it's Sheena with Dancing Daisy Designs and today I'm going to be showing you how easy it is to use DIY paint. DIY paint is amazing. It is a clay based chalk style paint. It is all natural and it has no VOCs and it is my favorite paint. I really, really like this table. I already love the distressing on it and how it goes down through like two layers of the darkness. Do you see how it has like there's a darker undercoat and then the actual wood. I think that looks so cute. But unfortunately this table has some issues. It looks like somebody spilled something pretty major on it. I actually had to sand it down because there was like a raised area where whatever that was ate through the paint. <laughs> so um, this table is going to get painted with DIY paint in Farm Fresh and I'll show you what that color looks like. This is Farm Fresh. It's this really nice vintage robin egg blue type color and I'm just pouring it into this cup because I have had this paint for quite a while and the can got a little crusty. start out just by giving a light mist of water with my mister bottle and I'm gonna get a little paint on my brush and I'm just gonna start applying it the first coat is gonna be streaky but basically we're just wanting to get um, a base coat down so that the next coat has something to stick to so don't worry too much about that at all. Just get your first coat on, let it dry well, and then when you apply your second coat, it will give much better coverage. My plan for this piece is to do it in this beautiful blue and then I'm going to distress it, very similar to how it was already distressed. And then I'm gonna add a beautiful transfer to give it some, some more interest so it's not just one solid color. This is what it looks like after the first coat and the second coat will go on and get really nice coverage. I'm applying the second coat and when you do the second coat you really want to be careful not to let your brush drag. If you let your brush drag it's just going to pull up the paint underneath so you want to make sure that you've got plenty of nice wet paint to move your brush over. So I like to go a little bit thicker with the second coat. And just don't overwork it. That's kind of what I mean when I say to let your brush drag. You don't want to overwork it. So just get it down, get it smooth, and let it dry. So I like to work in small sections all the way across the piece and then once I've got a section done, you just want to pull your brush straight across so all of your brush marks go in the same direction. And that's going to make it look a lot more beautiful as an end result. DIY paint is high quality, highly pigmented, amazing paint. It is so super versatile and that's why so many people love it, including me. Um, if you wanna see other videos um, that show you how to use this paint for different techniques, um, make sure to check those out on this channel. And if you're interested in any of the products that I used in this video, I'm gonna list them all down below in the description so they're easy for you to find.
And here is the finished piece. I went ahead and I distressed it back to show all of those amazing layers. And then I sealed it with my favorite sealer, which is DIY Big Top. And this is a satin finish sealer. It doesn't yellow and it's all natural. It's an amazing, amazing product. And then I did add a beautiful transfer. Um, this one is by Iron Orchid Designs and it's called Floral Paracensis. I hope I said that right. But IOD transfers are amazing high quality transfers. It's actually a rub-on transfer, really easy to use. And here's a picture of what the transfer looks like. So, hey you guys, if you liked this video, please make sure to give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.